Hi everyone, welcome to the flow sessions. So today we will discuss about the flows. Okay, so just I'm going to give the introduction in this session. So in the next session, so we will see every flow type. Okay, so in this session, so I'm going to discuss what is flow and why we are using flows. Okay, so when coming to flows, flows comes under the automation. Okay, so as we know, there are multiple tools comes under the automation. So we are having workflow rules, process builders, flows and triggers. Okay, so when coming to workflow rules and process builders, we can able to create only some set of actions with the workflows and process builders. Okay, but if there is any other action, if I want to perform, so we can't do with the workflow and process builders. So, but we can able to do lot of actions other than which are present in the workflow and process builder with the flows. Okay, so we can able to perform whatever we can able to perform with the workflows and process builders in the flows. Okay, and if I want to create any screens, okay, simple small screens if I want to create, previously we need to depend on the coding. Okay, we have to create those screens using either VF pages or the components, but we can able to create that simple screens using the flows also. Okay, and if there is any business criteria previously, so uh, which is not possible with the workflows and process builders, we will go through the triggers. Using triggers, we can do such criteria, but now we can able to use the flows to work on that criteria. Okay, so for everything, no need to go with the coding part. Using simple um, drag and drop and the point and clicks, we can able to do a lot of automation in the flows. Okay, so when coming to flows, okay, what are the types of flows present? And nowadays, Salesforce is going to uh, retire their workflows and process builder. Okay, why Salesforce is promoting more uh, flows nowadays? If you see, Salesforce is saying everywhere use flows, and now in every organization, they are using flows only. Okay, so even interviews also, they are asking the flows only. Okay, because what is the reason? Because Salesforce is going to retire their workflows and process builder. Okay, and that's why nowadays uh, flows are using more. Okay, even if you see here, see, I have opened the workflow rules. Okay, if you see here, Salesforce itself, it is showing a message. Okay, so go with the flow. With the flow builder, the future of low code automation. Okay, so you can do everything you do with workflow rules and more. Salesforce plans to retire workflow rules and recommends building automation in the flow builder. Okay, Salesforce itself is saying, okay, we are going to retire workflow rules and process builder. So do automation in the flow. Okay, so it is saying, so use the flows more because we are not going to use workflows and process builders in the future. Okay, and here it is given one tool for us to migrate existing workflows and process builders also. Because if it is not using workflows and process builders in future, so we need to migrate the existing workflows and process builders also. Okay to the flows or triggers, okay? So mostly we can able to migrate to the flows, okay? So here, if I want to migrate existing workflows and process builder, and if you want to see here, the same message we can able to see in the process builder also. See, go with the flow, with the flow builder, the future of low code automation. Okay, the same message here also showing, okay? If you open workflows and process builder, so Salesforce itself is show, uh, saying, so don't use these workflows and process builders, go with the flow. Okay, so use flow builder. It is saying the use the flow builder. Okay, and to migrate the existing workflows and process builders, it is giving one tool use migrate to flow tool. Okay, so if you click on here, we can able to migrate the existing workflows and process builders okay if you have more workflows and process builders okay how many of workflows you are having it will show all the workflows and process builders at your place okay even if it is a workflow or process builder you can able to see right so i have the name account update is the workflow so type workflow rule object on account and the status inactive and resulting flow it will give the name of the flow also for us okay and then if you see here sample process which is the process builder and on the object account and the status is active and if i migrate it the resulting flow name is the sample process underscore one okay so it will give the data first okay so if you select anything from here okay if you want to migrate everything we can select all but here i am showing with the one small process builder 
okay so here you can able to click the migrate to flow okay it will ask for select criteria to migrate if you see the process builder so here we have some criteria okay account criteria so it is asking do i need to migrate this one or not okay so here we need to select that one so i want to migrate this account criteria so i need to select this one and then we need to click on so here also it is showing, uh, showing like can migrate yes so evaluate next uh, it is showing to no because there is no other criteria here okay so here it is stopping here so that's why there is no other evolution criteria okay and resulting flow name also it is giving here and click on migrate to flow okay so here it is giving the steps also okay the first step is open the flow in flow builder and use debug to check that flow behaves as expected okay so okay i am creating the flow but you need to test yourself okay that flow is working as expected or not okay as we know flow process builder is working okay so how we are expecting we have created a process builder and it is working so in the same way the flow is working or not we need to test that one and then we need to activate the flow okay and then we need to deactivate the process builder okay if you click on done it will migrate the existing one okay so like that we can able to migrate the existing ones also using the salesforce given tool but if you want to migrate manually okay so we can go through the every workflow and process builder we can able to note everything and we can create the flows from the scratch okay so like that also we can able to migrate okay so and here so we have uh, gone through the migration but before we need to know what are the types of flows right so if you open the flows okay so if you click on here we can able to see the types of flows okay there are different types of flows are present okay so in that the first one is screen flow okay in this screen flow we can by using the screen flows we can able to build the small screen elements okay ui components we can able to build the small ui components okay without writing any piece of code without writing any component we can able to build the small screens using these screen flows and then we have the schedule trigger flows in this schedule trigger flows we can able to schedule a flow at a particular time okay not in immediately okay in future if i want to run a flow we can able to schedule that flow in future okay based on that it will run in the future okay and then we have auto launch flows okay in this auto launch flows we have different types uh, one is auto launch flow no trigger and trigger trigger flows and platform event trigger flows this comes under the auto launch flows okay so when coming to auto launch flow no trigger okay so we are going to create a flow but it won't trigger from flow okay we have to call this flow from other flow or either from the apex class or from any apis or in the components okay so from that uh, it is triggering okay so from where we are calling this flow from there it will trigger okay so that is the use of auto launch flow and we are having record trigger flows okay so whatever we are doing on the records okay based on the records whatever actions we are performing so based on that if i want to trigger my uh, my flows we can able to use the record triggered flows and then we will have the platform event trigger flows okay so if i want to create any platform event messages okay during the integration we will have the platform events right so if i want to create such type of platform event messages we can use this platform event trigger flows and we are having the record triggered orchestration so previously this flow type is not there but recently flows in uh, salesforce introduced this one okay so at a time if i want to create multi user process okay so multiple people multi multiple users want to use a flow uh, at a time okay so we can able to create the record triggered orchestration okay so here if you see these are the core uh, types of the flows okay these are the core types of the flows so there is one more thing all plus templates okay so here flows are present some inbuilt templates okay they are having some inbuilt templates here so we can able to use these templates to create the flows 
okay if there is any business criteria okay and we are not sure how to create it so we can search for the template first okay and if you find any template okay and you are that if you are satisfied with the template so we can use the template to create the flow okay so like that we have lot of templates here okay lot of templates are present for every criteria okay so th there are lot of templates all these comes under the templates only okay all these comes under templates so we have some types of flows okay to create the flows and we have some inbuilt templates also okay so as we discussed about the types of flows so uh, what are the dmls we can able to perform with the flows so as we know when coming to workflows and process builders we can able to perform only insert update okay but when coming to flows we can able to perform insert update and delete okay so whenever record is inserting or updating and deleting we can able to perform some set of actions okay and what is the dml we can't perform with the flow so if there is any advantage we should have some disadvantages also right with any of the tool that is this is not the disadvantage but we can't do and delete with the flows okay we can't perform and delete with the flows so we can perform this and delete with the triggers okay and what are the events we can able to perform as we know so when coming to workflows and process builders we can perform only after events okay so after the record insertion after the record updation only we can able to capture after events but when coming to flows we can able to capture both before event and after event okay means before insert before update before delete okay so before insertion of the record before deletion of the record before updation of the record we can able to capture the all these events okay and in the same way after insertion after update also after delete also we can able to perform some set of actions okay these are the events we can able to perform with these flows okay so this is about the introduction so in tomorrow session means in next session we can see every flow in detail okay thank you